What is up everybody, Vital Syntax here, I'm playing some more Battlefield 3 Open Beta. And obviously we're playing Operation Metro with Rush. And today I'm using the Sega 12K semi-automatic shotgun in the engineer class, although this is a an all-kit weapon. And uh, you unlock it at I believe level 34. I, I might be a little bit off, but I think it's level 34. And uh, the next unlock I'm gonna get is the Magnum, the 44 caliber Magnum, which I'm super excited for that thing. It looks like it's gonna be awesome. Um, but I'm using the Reflux Red Dot Sight on here, um, and the Flechette ammo. By default, you start out with the Buckshot ammo, and the difference between the Buckshot and the Flechette ammo is the Flechette is a little bit better at penetrating surfaces. So if you're shooting through sheet metal or plywood, you probably want to use the Flechette ammo. But if you're just shooting um, you know, through the air, then you want to use the buckshot or the slugs, which I'm not sure if the slugs are available uh, for this gun, but the slugs would be a little bit better at long range, but not quite as deadly up close. Um, so I probably, w I wouldn't really recommend using the flechette ammo, especially on this part of the map, just because it's so open and uh, there's really nothing to shoot through. Um, but if you're down in the subway section part of the map, then yeah, the flechette ammo seems like it'd be really helpful because there's you know, all the subway's in there, the, the, the trolley slash train is in there, and you can shoot through the, the sheet metal that's on the sides of it. Uh, I was just using the flechette ammo because I was just testing it out and seeing uh, how it worked. And here's here's a great example of um, the effectiveness of this gun. You know, if you can get up close, and you can take out multiple enemies, one to two shots each with within like 10 feet, sometimes 6 feet. Um, and this shotgun's really good for taking out multiple enemies. It doesn't have quite the stopping power as like the 870 um, or the M1014 but the M1014 only has a 5 round magazine this one has a 6 and on top of that if you get extended mags it goes all the way up to 9 which I think the uh, M1014 only goes up to 7 so you, you got a couple more rounds um, and I also think this one shoots a tad bit faster but uh, all in all they're, they're pretty similar um, here's another great example of taking out multiple enemies um, and you can see the reload animations, it's really cool, but halfway through this match it started glitching out. And I don't know what happened, but you, you'll see when it happens. It it started reloading, it, you started using a different weapon's reload animation, which was really weird. Um, and I, I have no idea why it started doing that, but... Anyway, there's a couple other things about Battlefield I want to talk about. The first one is that today, um, just a couple hours ago, um, Danny Matros, the community manager at DICE, or Jinto on Twitter, announced that they're going to stop testing the Caspian border map. Um, so if you're wondering, Caspian border, I, I, know, I know I've said this before, but Caspian border was in the beta for PC players. Uh, if you look at this, the download size of, and I don't know, there's a train in the background, you guys can bring here, sorry about that. Uh, but uh, the download size for the PC players was about th a little bit over three gigabytes, and the download for console players was only about a little bit over one gigabyte. So the difference in the file size is basically because the PC had Caspian Border on the download, and they did that because they wanted to test it out and um, uh, see how it was working, and I guess just test Conquest in general because uh, they haven't really had that uh, open to the public. And it really wasn't open to the public. It, they only had about 15 servers, sometimes 10 servers or less running Caspian Border. They were almost always full. I mean, you would have to spam the refresh button for like 30 or 40 minutes. And then if you were fast enough, you know, click join match before the other 300 people that were trying to do it uh, joined. Um, and there was also a password that you had to get, which they changed every 12, 24 hours, which is, you know, if you, the only way you could really get a hold of a password was finding somebody who had leaked it or being a part of a community website that was uh, in the Battlefield 3 news or Battlefield news. Um, so unfortunately, they are not going to continue testing. And here's <laughs> there's a great example of how gay the uh, the ground glitch can can be. Uh, supposedly they, they they fixed it, but this is actually recorded after they had supposedly refixed it. So I think something has to be done with the servers, and they have to be restarted before they're updated. But um, supposedly they've already been updated. But I, I don't know. There's been a couple servers that I haven't had any problems with, and there's been another couple servers that seems like the terrain destruction is still enabled, which is supposed to be disabled so you don't fall through the map anymore. Um, 
But back to back Caspian Border, unfortunately, if you didn't get a chance to play it, then you're probably not going to be able to play it, and you're going to have to wait till the full game comes out. And I did hear a lot of rumors um, from people on YouTube, from people on Twitter, uh, that Caspian Border was going to be playable on Friday for everybody. And unfortunately, that's not the case, um, which which kind of sucks. And here's a nice knife kill. And then look in front of me. I think it's one, two, three, four. All right, so I come over here. Try to take this guy out, but what the hell? My knife doesn't work. Try three times, finally dies, and then by the time I turn around, this guy's already on me. So I, that made me super pissed. Because <laughs> for some reason, my knife wouldn't work. Um, anyway, another thing that I found out uh, for on, on Twitter from Demise99, who's one of the developers for for DICE, is... Um, and if you ever have like a question or something about Battlefield, like things like specific things about maybe a certain weapon or balancing like that, you should tweet at him because he responds to a lot, a lot of people. So, uh, but he said today that uh, somebody was asking about the the glint on the sniper scopes and what determined which scopes had glint and which scopes didn't have glint. And uh, Demise ninety nine said that scopes with a six time magnification or higher have the the glint, and scopes with a four times magnification and lower don't have a glint. Um, so I thought that was pretty interesting, and I guess it, it really makes sense because if you're using like an ACOG or something like that that has a four times scope, you, you probably shouldn't have a glint because you're not using, well I mean even as a sniper rifle you can use those uh, ACOG sights. And then if you're using like a sniper rifle, I think the, the default scope on the uh, SVDs like times 7 and the one on the MK11 times 8. Um, and then you can also get the times 12 scope for for some of the guns like the SV98 I know and I think you can get on the MK11 too. Uh, so if you have a, yeah, once again, if you have a, a scope that's above 6 time magnification then it's going to have that glint. So it might actually be a good strategy to throw on like an ACOG sight onto something like that. Onto a sniper or something like that so that you don't give your position away but uh, another thing that I saw he tweeted was, and this is a, a problem that I kind of ran into, oh, and, and look at this, this guy's stuck under the map. If you get stuck under the map, suicide. Don't don't take advantage of it and, you know, ground glitch hacks, hacks over people. Because <laughs> uh, it's annoying and it's frustrating. Okay, um, another thing they tweeted, and this is a problem that I was having, is the, the P PDWR, which is a all-kit submachine gun, and I'll make a video on it pretty soon because um, I, I said it was going to and I'll, I'll show you guys what that gun's all about it's pretty cool um, but by default it has a 30 round magazine uh, oh and here, <laughs> look at the reload animation <laughs> I don't know what happened but it's funny <laughs> um, it's putting my magazines into my the grip of the gun which there's not a, a place for the magazine there <laughs> I have no idea what was going on but uh, the PW or PDW uh, D by default has 30 round magazine, but whenever you put a attachment on for the barrel, so like a suppressor or a uh, flash suppressor, um, then it goes down to 20 rounds. So I was I was kind of curious when I when I experienced this, and so I just had figured that it was kind of a glitch. So I always used I just didn't use a uh, a barrel attachment. Um, but Demise was saying that it's it's a glitch that um, there is an extended mag attachment for the gun and by default it accidentally is turned on and it, it doesn't say it's turned on it actually says no data like normally if you don't have an attachment it just says no attachment but for this gun it says no data and if you see that then just leave it at that because that means that you actually have extended mags on um, and unless you don't want to use extended mags which I don't know why you wouldn't because it's, it only has a 20 round magazine by default which is Seems kind of low. Um, I also saw that the PP2000 had a 20 round magazine, uh, and I saw somebody had put an extended mag on that, and it all went, went all the way up to 40. Which, wow, it's a lot of ammunition. I need to, I need to test that gun out a little bit more and uh, show you guys a video of that. Um, I'm also using the uh, in this video. I'm also using the G18, which is. And I was mad at this sniper because he wasn't doing anything for our team. He was camping, so I'm just. Annoying the crap out of him because he annoys the crap out of me. Then they plant the bomb and I go into this hermit. But um, I'm a, blah, 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 I forgot what I was gonna say. Anyway, that's basically the end of the match. If you guys enjoyed the video, remember to leave a rating. Remember if you guys want to see um, 
all the content I'm going to be releasing, obviously, in the next couple days and next couple weeks. Battlefield 3, remember to subscribe. And uh, thanks for watching. I think I went up with a score of 18 and 8, which really wasn't that good. But to be honest, I didn't really um, have uh, a good chance to use this weapon because I had just unlocked it. And uh, it's really not all that effective on this part of the map, which I didn't really get to play on the, the, uh, the subway yet with it. Uh, but I'll have to test it out a little more once I get into uh, close quarters. Alright, thanks again. See you guys later. Bye.